Okay, guys, you're this close to joining the competition. Kwame, you're looking you look really focused there. Yes. Good, good. One of you will be rejoining the competition, and when you do, there'll be 10 challenges left. Flora, why do you want to get back in? To prove to myself and my children that I can do this. Mommy? I want my mom to stop working. She still works six days a week as a chef, and I don't want her to work anymore. She's really old. Well, sorry, Mom, but she's like... <laughs> she's, um, she's, she doesn't need to be working as yeah, much as she I, does. I understand. So. I had the same conversation with my mom when she was uh, getting up there. Lan? Nest egg. Nest egg. Yeah. So it's all about the money. Ah, this is fun. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Intuition is really key as a chef. Do you just show me that you can cook with your head? Now it's time to cook with your guts. These guts. Oh, what do we have here? Oh boy. So we have some livers, honeycomb tripe, we have pork kidneys, we have chicken hearts, and lots of guts. These may not be the most glamorous parts of the body, but it's what's on the inside that counts, right? Each of you can only use one of these proteins, so one, one is picked, they're off the table. This is the last challenge, so one of you will go directly into the competition. I'm up against like two masters of their craft. Cooking next to Leanne and also Claudette, it's nerve wracking, but I wanna win. You have 40 minutes, and your time starts now. I go straight for the chicken hearts. I know that they can cook relatively quickly, and I can develop a lot of flavor. Only three chefs remain, but one will make it to the final round. What'd you get? Yeah, chicken livers. Oh, nice. Today I'm making a chicken liver picadillo tetela with a chintexla salsa. A tetela is a triangular shaped uh, filled tortilla. And I know that Tom's gonna wanna eat that and keep eating it. Leanne, what did you grab? I got the beef liver. A lot of our parents grew up eating liver and onions. I know my mom did, and I was always kind of like, ew, liver, but I have learned to appreciate awful meats. Not awful, but O-F-F-A-L, which are the innards. Where are you going flavor-wise? I am going to Puerto Rico. Oh. I'm doing a uh, sofrito. I'm kind of noticing the pattern with how Kwame cooks, and I'm not really scared to cook against him. Cooking with liver is tricky because you have to avoid it being metal tasting. So I'm adding the fresh cherries and apples and a little bit of acid with vinegar. Are you going Asian with it, Leanne? I'm gonna do dumplings since I have this cookbook about dumplings. Uh, you got the whole <laughs> I'm super excited because I know I have not used my secret weapon yet. I'm confident that if I make Tom my dumplings, he can win the whole thing. Silky, we want silky. My masa dough is a little too dry. If the dough crumbles, it's just not a tetela. At that point, it's just kind of like, a, you know, filling in between two tortillas. I still have enough time on the clock to execute this properly, but I need to make sure that the dough doesn't crumble. It's fine, it's fine. This flour absorbs a shit. Are you making tortillas again? No, I'm making something better. Hi, Tom. Hey, how you doing? Good. I smell ginger. I'm making dumplings for you. Dumplings, liver dumplings. Yeah. What's in the dumplings? Uh, gonna start garlic, cabbage, ginger, beef liver. Gonna add a little bit of ground beef, scallion. Okay. Uh, so it's like a classic Asian style dumpling, a little shao And the liver's going in there? Liver is gonna be in the dumpling, the dumpling. and then I'm gonna make a liver sauce. Liver sauce. Leanne is the dumpling specialist and she's making dumplings, so the expectation could be super high. For Tom, it's gotta be perfect. Is this recipe in the dumpling cookbook? It is not, but I literally make hundreds and hundreds of dumplings every single day. Hundreds so. of dumplings every single day. Yep. You don't have to make a hundred right now. No, I only no. have to make six, okay. so. <laughs> Kwame, what are, you, what are you doing? Um, Kwame's got one of his stews going over I'm here. I'm going to Puerto Rico on this You're one. going to Puerto Rico on this one. I'm doing a chicken heart uh, sofrito. Lots of garlic, olive oil, tomatoes, a uh, little bit of jalapeno, cilantro, grill the chicken hearts. You have chicken hearts? Yes, sir. So grilled chicken hearts, like a skewered or yes, something? Yes, sir. Nice. Are, are they marinating anything or are they going to go they straight They will up? be. Cooking chicken hearts are very risky. They're so small, so there's nothing to give. You can't hide behind anything if you don't cook it properly. If you leave them on the grill for too long, you're screwed. Claudette. Chef. You're working the fryer over here. Bringing you back to Oaxaca for a little tetela. So what's this technique? I haven't seen this before. So one of the mother sauces in Oaxaca is a chintecle. So you get dried chilies, usually the um, pasilla mixer. 
Half the time Claudette is talking about her dishes, I don't know what is going on. Like I wish there was a translator there telling me exactly what she's talking about. She's making things I've never even heard of and it smells delicious. Claudette, what's, uh, what's going on there? What do you got? My old trusty chintexle. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> Filling, shallots, garlic. So we have Mexico, Puerto Rico, and... China. China. All right. Got some guts. This is your last chance. One of you will be joining the competition. OK, chefs, 10 minutes left, 10 minutes. Thank, Thank you, chef. Thank, Thank you, you, chef. There's a million things that are driving me back to get into this competition. It goes from Mexico to my children to myself. I'm not gonna let myself go down today. I'm hungry to get back. Oh, look at these guys. Whoa! Oh. Army of cooks, hey! What? I wanna know what's going on here. First, I see Kwame. And then I look over and I see Leanne Wong and I'm like, these veterans are back. And then I see Claudette. What in the hell is going on right now? This is weird. Dude, what's going on? I'm so confused. I'm ready to cook, but they're cooking already. What's this mean? Welcome to Last Chance Kitchen. Get it, Claudette! Whoever wins this competition is going back into the competition right now. Wow. Holy wow. Sh okay? It's absolutely nuts. I'm booping my pants. You guys should be worried about whoever comes back to the house. I am so scared a veteran is going to come back into this competition and wipe us all out. So right now, the challenge is about using your intuition and your guts. And so they have livers and kidneys and all kinds of stuff. The people that walk in are just a distraction. I have to focus on my dish because this is my chance to get back on the show so I can be with them. I see you, Kwame. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too, man. My man. I'll see them later. I'll say hi later when I'm there with them. But for now, it's all about focusing on the dish. You're feeling pressure? The pressure is on, for sure. Pressure's on. <laughs> yeah. You got about six minutes left. Where are my cheerleaders? Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. There you go. There you go. Mexico in the house. A few of the faces in the crowd are a little shocked to see me here. They don't want me back in the house. I'm a threat to several of them. But at the same time, it feels good. Like, I want to kind of flip them all off. You got this. Yes. Five minutes, chefs. Five minutes. Thank you. Somebody needs to get Leanne a little whiskey just to give her some superpowers. I can't. I'm prego. Sorry. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> Cooking for two. This is frightening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leanne is a badass. I am so frightened that she's going to come back into the house and destroy all of us. She banged them out, man. I'm telling you, that's the vet right there. That's season one. Four veterans were gonna compete. And then you walked in and there was a bunch of potatoes and I was like, what is she, like the potato queen of Colorado or something? <laughs> I have to say, I mean, you guys are doing well, but some of the best food I've had all season so far has been right here in LCK's. Oh, These guys man. are cooking strong right now. After cooking with all three, who's the most dangerous up here? I mean, they're all a threat in their own right. They're also Doing different, their own thing. you know what I mean? I'd rather have Claudette back at this point. I don't want any of these veterans that have done this before back in the game. I'm getting hungry. How much longer? 140. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm shaking. I never shake. I think I want one of those Top Chef coats. I'm looking at these chefs, and I'm like, they look sharp. I wouldn't mind putting one of those jackets on again. For 30 seconds. Kwame has his little plates. The covered dishes. Let's get a countdown, huh? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm done. Hey, Claudette. Hey, Chef. How are you? Good. No sweat, huh? No sweat. So we have a picadillo tetela, apple salad, and the chintexle sauce. Mm -hmm. What's in the sauce? Chile morita, onions, garlic, and I use anchovies this time. Mm -hmm. Good, thanks. Thank you, Chef. Kwame. Chef. So here we have a chicken heart sofrito with crispy shallots, crispy confit potatoes, chicken heart gremolata. A lot of different textures. Potatoes, the shallots, sauce. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of Puerto Rican Dominican babysitters growing up in the Bronx, and they would make me dishes like this. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Tom. Hi, so. So we got beef liver dumplings. Should I eat my hands? Should you use my uh, hands here? You can use your hands. Make sure you drag it yep. through the chili oil and that. the vinegar, the black vinegar. Got a little bit of acidity. What's in the liver sauce? Garlic, shallots, uh, ginger, shaoxing. Thanks. Wow. We've got a really diverse group of contestants here. And I got to say, eating all these dishes, they're so different. What I liked about the dishes is they were all, all forward. 
um, which was good because you don't want to shy away from it. You know, Leanne's dumplings were perfect. They were cooked nicely, developed a lot of flavor. Only negative, I thought the liver sauce was on, on the thick side because it was hard to dip in and actually sure. get it, but good flavor. Kwame, I liked it, a lot of little different things. I thought the hearts had great flavor. You wanted to cook the hearts rare, they were, they were rare. Good dish of textures and, fl and flavors. You know, you have a tendency of putting these things in small bowls. Sometimes you want to let that breathe a little bit. It's easier to see everything, easier to eat everything. Claudette, boy, that sauce was just, there's so much going on. The filling was really, really great. And I think the apples did work. May have been slightly anchovy forward. On my first bite, it was salty, but then as I started digging through it, it just started to just grow and grow and grow. And the flavor continued to just constantly just change uh, as I was eating and I didn't spend a whole lot of time with it. Chef, this is a tough one. Before I make my decision, I think I need to bring somebody else in here to, to check this out. Hi. Hi, Padma. I see you have a chef's coat there. I do, for one lucky person. Chef, all the food I thought was really delicious. Tiny little things here and there that I can nitpick on. The dishes were so good. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with my gut instinct here. 